All right, we're back from break. It's time to chase down Morello. Go get Morello. By the way, my ear is clogged up. You can't see. My ear has new medicine in it and it's all clogged up now. How delightful. I just love it. I can't hear a damn thing in my right ear. So, uh, <laughs> that's why I got the headphones this way. All I can oh shit. All I can basically hear is them yelling. I can't really hear the music or anything, which sucks. I know the music's good. I have zero health. Where is this guy? What the fuck? Is he on, is he on the other side? Oh. I love making them pop the fucking Molotov off and then land it right next to him. All right, here's first day. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! Okay. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god, I never clear shot. Headshot. Headshot. Nice. <clears throat> All right, I have like 150 bullets. I guess I could pick up the Tommy gun now. Oh shit! Who shot me? I don't even know who shot me. Oh, Tommy gun. Now I know who shot me. Take a look up there. Got him, finally. Woo! I see someone cheered. I will give a shout out in a moment. I had a chance here. There's a lot of action. Ow. I like how he tanked it out. He continuously ran into the bullet string. And didn't react until he finally died. There's another guy here? Yeah, look. Oh, shit. I no health again. Fuck. Shit, another guy right there. Right there. Whew. Okay, good stuff. All right, uh, Zavala, thank you for the 300 bit cheer. He says, Phil, a bit new to turning into your streams. Haven't had much time because of work and school, but I'm curious if you were going to be playing and streaming Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Excited for the game. I hope you'll be seeing you playing it. The answer is yes. Question is on what? Like, it comes out on the 10th, but I'm not getting the PS5 supposedly till the 12th or later. Do I want to hold off and play it on PS5? Do I want to start playing it on PS4? If I play it on PS4, can I transfer my save over to PS5 to continue the playthrough? <clears throat> I don't know. So I got to think about it, and I hopefully we'll get more info. Like, they, they just announced, apparently, Spider-Man game saves will transfer over. So if you're playing Spider-Man on PS4, and your PS5 shows up, you can transfer your playthrough over and continue to play it at that same point, which is cool. But I already beat Spider-Man, so that doesn't really affect me. You know, if we could do that with Assassin's Creed, that would be ideal, I think. But I don't know if we'll be able to do that or not. Um, but I am playing Valhalla, absolutely. Absolutely. What's this? Oh, no, Lucio Marcano. <clears throat> Another card. Oh, two more guys coming in the Yep. Fuck this. I'm trying to go here. Oh. Okay, this is a bad place. I can't really see them from here. They're too far back into the hangar. I need to get to like, the hangar door. Hello! Oh shit, that's an enemy right there. I shoot him in his nuts. Yeah, I did shoot him in his nuts. Or his ass. I couldn't tell because of the lighting. There's another guy over there somewhere. See, it's shooting. Oh, there he is. Run it. No, there's another guy over there. There's like a lot of them in this hangar, all like uh, all boxed up. Shit. <sighs> Fuck. What are you doing? Push me out of cover. What are you doing, man? I'm not a bullet sponge like you. I actually take damage. You can't do that shit. Oh, right, you know what? Got him. The grenade got that guy. Good. Right 
Dude, we are covered in blood. Look at their coats. Bloody bullet holes. Can I go around? No, but I can grab first aid. Okay. I'm reloading! Oh my god, there's no shot here. I have no shot on any of these guys. Oh, they got him. Here come more! Another way. I didn't hit anybody. Uh oh. Oh, well, Detective Magazine. What the hell doing the ice block? Oh, you see that? <laughs> His whole body frozen in the ice block. The ice man coming. <laughs> what the hell? That's the shit they used to put in comic books back in the day. Weirdo stuff. He's in a white beater. Frozen in an ice block in a white beater. Catherine's good. He's enjoying the fact that we have all the windows open. He's in the bedroom window right now. Into the uh -huh. car! Car slow. Get us into the air. We don't have the speed. Yeah, they're fucked. Take us up. It's gonna take off. Shoot out the engines. Are we even making it get? It's no good. <laughs> There's no way. So we actually got his ass? Because I'm the guy that drives. And now we got a plane to catch. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow. We see where it lands. We rush in. All guns blazing and we finish off. <laughs> no way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not going to land. It's going to crash. It look guy uh, aeronautic to you. Thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Yeah. Well, not going to walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Dun 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 dun. Uh, Kate, I'm not Kate. Uh, you're you're Yukimura Sonata. I have no idea who Frank Costello is. He's asking. Where's he trying to take is that it? Frank Costello? Maybe I don't know who Frank track. Costello is. What chance of landing it safe outside this city? Hello, maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. I had to say, with no engines, there's no way they could be flying this far anyway. They would have crashed long ago. This is very unrealistic for the plot. <laughs> is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah. It's going. I'm just following the rail lines. That's exactly where it's gonna lead me to the plane, see? Yep. <laughs> Sure, he's dead before the cop. You got a death wish or something? I turned right into so What was I saying? Oh, right. We don't have time to relax. We gotta <laughs> be sure he's dead before the cops show. No one's gonna survive that. Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. They know. Don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. <laughs> we don't have long. Every cop in the city is going to be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Did he survive? Jesus Christ. Yikes. Bastard's dead, he doesn't even know it yet. Now he's dead. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Let's make tracks. So what's funny is he was always the guy who didn't want to kill. Even during this mission, right, or the previous mission, he didn't want to kill. No, no one, 
in the way he dies, but now he just said, fuck this, he's the mob boss, and he did kill him. <clears throat> so this is funny, because if Tommy actually killed killed the, the rival mob boss, why the hell did he fall out of the good graces of, of the family? Hmm. See you on the other side, Marku. The day the war ended. Creme de la creme. There you go. Zelda Destroyer Tree said, you think Proud Boys is a hate group? First of all, what the fuck does that have to do with the game and what I'm doing on a stream? Completely unrelated. Nothing I'm going to comment on. I don't even know much about them. Everyone on the internet seems to feel that they are and says that they're a white supremacist group. I don't know. I don't research this shit. I'm not the person to ask. Stop derailing my stream. Thanks for the cheer. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Okay, then. Intermezzo? Doesn't that mean inter like intermission? You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri? The nuns books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Celieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. Recognize anyone? Look again. What? Old man, that's Don Papone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. <laughs> so what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on the slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. <laughs> in 22... Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello agreed to divvy up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but it didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran a whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought... It just kept turning round and round in my head until one day... I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Hmm. Right here. Damn. It must be crazy. You can never just relax Giant and live the high life, the right? Hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life. I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. Yeah, right. Everyone's always against you. This is actually a pretty good plot because just think about that. If you're a career criminal, it doesn't matter how much money you get or whatever, the life is always going to catch up with you, right? There's always going to be someone after you. There's going to be someone looking to turn on you to get their piece of the pie, if not make their piece bigger. And even if he became Don, look, he just killed a Don, right? So that's actually a really good point 
you know, how many people actually get into the life of like a mafioso lifestyle, but then they get out and they get to actually enjoy their life with the money that they got through crime. Probably mostly no one. Only those who maybe go snitch. Like, for example, the guy who basically his life was the model for the movie Goodfellas. He actually got out of the life and was able to continue on because almost everyone involved with the, the mob that he was involved with went to jail and died. Um, so he's being a snitch. He survived it. But most people probably didn't get out, right? Psh, probably not. Um, Zelda Destroyer did 100 bit I'll look at the camera. Oh, will I look at the camera and denounce white supremacy? Yes, I will say this. I don't feel that any race on planet Earth is any more important, any, any innately greater or better, smarter, wiser, faster, or stronger than any other race. No one is more important than anyone else. Everyone is equal. White supremacy is horseshit. I will say that. How about that? Any kind of supremacy is horseshit. No race should be above anyone else. There you go. I will say that clearly and, and, and definitely to my camera. I have no problem saying that. Martian invaders, stand by and stand down. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's continue. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on a street, scrapping fighting for your life and the guy next to you isn't just your partner he's your brother you'd stick a knife in someone for your brother right but at night you lie awake wondering what he and Adam are whispering about behind the bar wondering if your best friend is hungry enough mm -hmm. to betray you so basically you become ultimately paranoid and then what's the point of it all, right? What's the point of it all? <laughs> so that's why he wants to get out, or did something particular happen that he wants to get out? Are we going to re relive that story now? What actually happened to make him want to get out of the mob? I don't know. That's right. Oh, election campaign. So we're going to so you're talking about mob boss Don Felipe de Penne? That's correct. No bus, no trouble Bernelli. at all. Penne Bernelli. That would be my name if I were in the mob. Penne Bernelli. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. Huh. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I know a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake, had a few beers, a few laps. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes it's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. Starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under. And don't come up again. Yeah, he's trying to say don't protect your, your buds Paul here. Paul is your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. <laughs> Good. Now, we got to talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny, have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, we'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'd be talking to someone else. <laughs> so he's their best gun. shooter and their best driver. All right.
Well, they took the guns handsome. off the table. <laughs> Wait, easy. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? <laughs> uh, he'll never look Be gone, thought. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. Wait. Oh, you can see it's like different cars there, right? That's right. <clears throat> <laughs> That's too good. Hey, Tommy. I finally get a rifle, you huh? something for me. I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Well, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, a pie in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> RBG fans are what Dorothea says when you won't date her and fire him. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Top and I say the same locked. damn thing. That's what the key's for. <laughs> <clears throat> so. Get to the prison. I mean, is there anything else in here? Politicians come at us, we come back at them hard. That's how Lost Heaven's gonna learn. What's that? Oh, this is your. That's right. This is the gun room. So now you can you can swap out to a lot of different weapons, right? Semi-automatic pistol, service revolver, Magnum. Do we want the Magnum? I think I'm gonna take the Magnum pistol. Okay. No. Bolt action rifle. Okay. There we go. The shock sawed off shotgun, the regular shotgun. I never actually used the sawed off, did I? No. I never had I never really had an opportunity to use it. Magnum holds twelve rounds. I bet it I bet it kills really fast though. And this is the sniper rifle. He said that it's stowed somewhere. I have to go get it. Okay. Good. All right. Let us continue. Let's see what cars we got. I don't think we unlocked any new cars, right? I guess there's no way to unlock new vehicles in this in this game. The Schubert. The Lux. That's the one I've been driving. The Airmaster. Oh, look at this. The V12. Oh, that's a nice car, actually. I guess maybe I'll drive that. This is the car from fucking... Uh, this is the car from Mach 3. So Smith V12. Or the Falconer Classic. Oh, there's a lot of different cars now. The Fletcher. Oh, let's take the Fletcher. Good. Why not? When I hold up my controller, Bellinger's game face time. Well, here's the thing. Back when I used to be in, on the love seat, the love seat was years. wide, so I always we could just relax here. If I want to like get serious, and I like stretch out my arms a little bit to get a better grip on the controller. Look, now I got arms of the chair in the way, so I end up lifting the controller up. See? So it's different. Now, it really does. It's different playing this chair than it used to be playing on the love seat. It's a very different experience. Like, oh, shit. It's a wide turn. Like, I told you guys, I definitely want to get a new chair. Whenever I can. I don't know. At this point, I don't know what's going to happen with my health and medical bills and shit going on. And chargebacks and everything that's been going on recently. But I'm hoping... <coughs> excuse me. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I'll be able to get a new chair. That'll be, like, very nice for the, for the stream. But I just want to He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull huh. will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme. All right, now. New music. Let's see the gap. I was wondering with all the terrible driving I did, how I never hit a human in this game. And then during that chase earlier, I realized, oh, the humans automatically move out of the way. You can't actually hit one. Yes, that, Kate, of course I was a Don back in the day. Everyone knows I'm a 4. 
reformed mafioso, of course, yeah, right. Fill the penne Bernelli. said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. The folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Gotta go through the sewers? There's gonna be... Dude, there's gonna be a hashtag sewer level hey, in Mafia? Seriously. I can't believe it. No, I never expected this shit. Sewer level in Mafia. What the fuck? I never in a million years would have predicted this. Uh, so we're going to be chased. I hope you're from your shoulders when you're playing. A lot of weird problems going to occur from stiff shoulders. Okay, then. Someone's coming through. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome here. I'm warning you, mister. <laughs> I shot him in the shoulder with a magnum. And he's okay. What a dummy. <clears throat> he tanked the magnum. That guy's a badass, that's all I have to say. <laughs> An old, uh, bro bro burned down, can't you people just leave us be? broken down prison. This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? They choose to live in hey, the prison. Hey, you cop! You're locked up tight, not getting in. Oh, yeah? Someone's coming true. <laughs> That's funny. Entrance exit procedure. Request proof of reason for visit. Ensure fellow guards are present in front and behind the secured door. Pull lever to unlock and open. Ensure the door is resecured with haste. With much haste. Holy Wolf Adam, cheers. I hope you feel better, Phil. Thank you, Holy Wolf Adam. Right now, I feel terrible. I'm not going to lie. My ears are all messed up, but I'm hoping I'll get better. And I'm really hoping I will not get the infection into the other ear. That would be the real kicker where I feel terrible is when I got it in both ears again for a third time. So, I hope not. <clears throat> oh, you're barfing? Here I got... <coughs> Moonshine. <coughs> Bullshit. <coughs> There. <laughs> I'll punch it out of you. Huh? Oh. You know the guard tower? It's uh, up through the main cell block. Case locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. over here. Yeah, it looks like some ammo. What? Yes, they have a whole box of, of full quality ammo. And then there's a guy completely passed out. If not dead. What the fuck? Wait a minute. This is where I started, isn't it? You see my son? I can't find him. I woke up and he was gone. David? Maybe not. This David, is probably a new area. Yes. Whew. Hey, who's you this? You bring trouble. Who is this? Where's the guard tower? 
You'll find it. You always do. You're already dead, aren't you? What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, you crazy lady? What the hell? No, stupid. Hey, who's this? Hey, hey, over here. Why are you guys aggro to me? My God, they're Terminators. They're all Terminators. Twin Terminators, they were identical. Look, they're identical twins. They're wearing different clothes though. What the fuck? Can't fucking shoot them. Clobber you. They have those stretch punches. Oh! Those fucking stretch punches. Like Dalsim. What is going on? This way? Look at this. It's a hell of a way to get upstairs. Oh, I didn't have a list of collectible. No, I didn't. There it is. I saw it on the map. <clears throat> this place is weird. The way they designed it. Another one of these? Yeah, but there's... There's no lever to open that door. Alright, I gotta go up here. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm saying something really stupid. I, I actually looked at it for a second. Oh wait, look. Is that a fox? It's supposed to be a fox. What does the fox say? Following the fox symbols. I don't know why. Because there's a collectible fox down here. Yep. One of the 50. I now have three. Oh boy. They actually had hints on to get the, the hidden fox statue there. Does anyone actually remember that stupid What Does the Fox Say song? It was like virally popular for a while. And I don't think I've heard anyone talk about it in about 50, 60 years. I'm stuck. I can't, I can't move. Into Dungeons and Dragons? No, I was never into Dungeons and Dragons. Nope, no D&D for me. Blimp! What's with the music? There's the sniper rifle. Alright.
Got him. What the hell? Whoa. Oh, shit. Damn. I've been out. Probably long enough for the cops to show up. Whoa. An old dilapidated prison. What the fuck? You electric chair, dude. There's a fucking teddy bear sitting in it. What the hell? Alright, that's kind of creepy. Oh, Jesus, there's cops! <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, oh, that's not good. What if I try not to kill any cops? Oh, this is impossible. Hide! You can't escape! Every cop in the city is outside! Turnbull was a good man! Hear that? A good man! Yep, I was trying not to kill any cops, but I guess I didn't really need to open that cell. I could have just tried to get through the stairs. Shit. Shit. I didn't want to kill any police. I was trying to do, be, a, be the honorable uh, Cagliostromo. Cabalio Bobo Strono? No. What is it? What do you call it? Cag. Uh. Give up! You're get surrounded! Up, up. You can't escape! Cosa Nostra? That's what it is. Cosa Nostra. Was a good man. Hear that? A good man! <laughs> Fuck, there's so many. I don't think there's gonna be a way to get through here without shooting them. Damn it, dude. I don't think so. God damn it. It's also not clear what direction to go. Obviously down. But there's no clear way to get the fuck out of here, you know? Give up! Damn. You're surrounded! Damn. You can't escape! Every cop in the city is outside! Turnbull was a good man! Hear that? A good man! Oh my god, I went through a dead end! I'm dead. Ah, oh, dude. All I need to do is go right in there. I went the wrong way. I couldn't see. It was too dark. <laughs> it was so dark. Damn. 
I don't want to shoot them. Arch says shoot them. I don't want to shoot them. <laughs> I know you're supposed to, but I don't want to murder all these cops. I can't have that on my conscience. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, have a heart. Give up! You're surrounded! You can't escape! Every cop in the city is outside! Turbo was a good man! Hear that? Good man! Run! Oh! That was the last one! You gotta be fucking kidding me. That was the last one. He blew my leg off. God damn it. Oh. Fuck. Damn it. I was bobbing and weaving, juking and jiving. I almost made it. Ouch. Give up! Keep You're surrounded! You can't escape! What the fuck? How much damage outside. I just took? Turnbull I never took that much damage man. before that early. Oh. Hear that? Good man! Oh, it's because I took so much damage early on. Damn, he's like, stopping power! <laughs> fuck. What? No, I gotta make it. I'm not gonna kill any cops. I'm gonna escape. I'm gonna escape without killing any police officers. I'm gonna do it. It's the new challenge run. It's a challenge run. I'm doing it. <clears throat> Give up! You're surrounded! You can't escape! Every cop in the city is outside! Turbo is a good man! Hear that? Good man! Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Uh. Come on! Come on! There's no way I'm beating this today. I didn't know that the final stages were so long and lengthy. In fact, up to now, the stages have been very short. Today's stream, every mission is like 40 plus minutes long. It's just crazy different from the rest of the play. So, I'm definitely have to do another stream to finish this for night stream, I'm assuming. But I'll say, by the end of today's stream... Whoa! Dude, that did 75% damage. 75% damage. But anyway... At the end of today's stream, anyone who's played the game and knows how many missions are left, I'd appreciate some info, okay? <clears throat> likely, likely, this will be a night stream, but I don't know, to finish it, but I don't know how much I have left. Okay. No. Give up! You're surrounded! You can't escape! Every cop in the city is oh, outside! Turbo was a good man! Hear that? Good man! Stop! Get behind me! God damn! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! That guy? <laughs> I'm pet look, there's no one left. Oh, this is the end. I'm at the end. I'm at the exit, and I can't get to it because that guy fucking shoots me from across the whole yard there. There's three more major missions after this one, says Dark Viking. Okay. Oh, my God. Come on. What, do I want to brute force it? I don't want to brute force it. I just don't want to kill any cops. I feel bad. You can't escape. Every cop in the city is outside. Turbo was a good man. Hear that? Good man. Oh my god. 
Why do I have to kill a good man? Why do I have to kill a good man? Huh? <laughs> uh. That is not going to work. I need a regular car. Get in quick! Hurry the fuck up! They rear-ended me before I even started the car! Oh my god. Oh boy! Five star! How do I lose the cops? Five star level. Drive fast my tires busted. Officers on Central Island, suspect has been lost. Keep patrolling. Can I just like chill out here? About to lose it. I did it! Wow! Heat from the cops, I did it. I skipped the five star level. I'm getting out of this fucking car, dude. <laughs> That's how you do it. Well, I need to pick the lock, but there's too many people. So Renovi Trudy says, Trumbull Turnbull was a good man. You hear that? A good man. No, you won't believe what you bring. Only two cents. Alright, well. I did it. It was much harder getting out of the prison and avoiding the cops in the prison than it was actually outrunning the five-star wanted level. That was pretty easy. All I had to do was hit a jump perfectly and then just not hit anything. And I was able to get away from the cops pretty convincingly. That was not hard at all compared to like a GTA game where they were on your ass constantly, right? Be the Colonel says there's three major missions left now to the end of the game. I'm gonna assume they're gonna be lengthy missions. You know, these missions have been about anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes long today, because I think I've only completed four now. Yet I've been playing for over three hours, you know? So, yeah, it seems to me like I will. One more night stream would probably be enough to wrap it up. No, there is no... Oh, no Camar Camaro. There is no lock-on auto-aim at all. There's none. None of that. Not like GTA. This doesn't have that at all. That The gunplay is actually much more difficult than GTA, I would say. More challenging. Golden Colts here, so there's 15 to 17 minutes left. Thank you, Golden Colts. Appreciate that. Very truthful, of course. Ha <laughs> ha for the cop. Yes, after uh, after pulling off that murder and getting away from the five-star cop level, let me just pull in front of policemen and see how that goes, right? It's a smart idea. Dugganator says, 
doing this mission on classic difficulty is ridiculously hard. I believe you. I totally believe you. You have to kill all those fucking cops, and I didn't see any, like, there's, like, no first aid. And you have to get out in a really different five-star level they probably never lit up. They probably made this way easier so that people can beat the game. Not be doing that mission for 14 hours. This is his house? Is this a really, this is the first time we're actually seeing where he lives, isn't it? Yeah. We've never seen his house before. Okay. Did you hear about this Turnbull? No. Heard he was crooked as the day is long. <laughs> Says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. Nah. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. And you killed him. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? You piece of shit. Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> but you just walked Tom. in the door. <laughs> don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. So, a view from the top. So basically, he was a goody two-shoes. Not only was he anti-mob, he was women's suffrage. He was all positive stuff, but if you're in the mob, obviously, you can't have that, right? So you're off a nice guy who gave women the right to vote. That's pretty fucked up. So how many, there's three missions left? Yeah, probably probably a night stream would be enough to wrap it up then. That's cool though, I'm okay with that. I'll have to figure out when this week, probably much later this week. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably do that. Because I'm not doing a Street Fighter stream this week. Because I'm going to try that Mario 35 game. So, we'll see. I do have 17 minutes left on stream, it's actually correct to say that now. I do have only 17 minutes left on stream. Uh, it doesn't look nice to have a nice, nice uh, you know, gauze in your ear holding in ear medicine. It's delightful. Just for relaxation. Still 1938. 1938 was a pretty busy year. <clears throat> Excellent. Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Mm -hmm. Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems... I don't know. Small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. <laughs> Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll mm -hmm. fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. Don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. Mm -hmm. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So, oh my God. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We gotta do this on our own, and it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit, the place will be crawling with security. Yeah, brute force won't work. We gotta play this one cool. So we're gonna steal a customs truck, slip right in. Mm -hmm. Christ, and kill the poor bastard driver. No, we'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. 
We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. See if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. Hmm. You alright, Tom? <laughs> yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss has a job needs doing, we're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We could do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? <laughs> so at this point, yeah. Tommy and even Paulie are starting to think these things are crazy and too risky. Like, why are they doing this insane stuff? They're in charge of the city, essentially. Because they got rid of their competition. Why are they still doing these crazy, risky jobs? I got right? here for the jobs. I kind of, I get it. I totally you get it. Like, special. it's like he Go said, see. they're already the kings. Why are they going crazy over this shit? And also, what's to stop someone from turning on them, you know? It seems like this always happens in the mob where people get different ideas of what what should be or shouldn't be done, who should be in charge, and what's to stop your friend who has an idea, you don't like the idea, oh, I'll stab you in the back then, fuck you, you know? I, I kind of get it now, I understand exactly what's happening. I wish I could plot. be out there with you. <clears throat> Santa invited me for dinner on Sunday. <laughs> Although I'm sure this is news to you. I'm just trying to see if there's any new collectibles or anything. We haven't actually walked around these areas in a while. So I'm just curious if there's anything. I don't see anything, though. I don't think so. Somebody up there I'm not over here. I haven't been over here in a while, either. You need something? Why do I need a reason to come bum gums with you? <laughs> One of the good, good, good ones, Tom. This is where the friggin' uh, raccoon was. The boss says I got to gotta quit sleeping here to get my own papa place. Guess he's right. All said and done. <laughs> Why are you sleeping in the garage? <laughs> sleeping in the greasy, yucky garage. Not even a bed. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen. We don't really have any time left to do the next mission. We've got like 10 minutes left on the stream. There's no way we're going to wrap up the let's whole go. mission. Let's get in the car. Let's see where we go. At least maybe get to the first leg of this mission. And then we'll resume this next time around. But let's at least go where we're going and see if there's any dialogue or anything. Let's see. Oh. Cutscene immediately? Whoa. You're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Yeah, yeah, shoot accidentally. Sorry. It's got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> That's so. I had to figure there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> wow. Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't even think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? I bought Microsoft stock, bitch. <laughs> Been thinking I'm about the Tesla. savings alone downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. You just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. Someone's got a loud vacuum on Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. Oh, shit. I don't know about that. You want to step out on the Don? No. Thank you, King Michael. I'm enjoying Mafia, too. Not really. <laughs> we can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his There's shit. There's a new landscaper coming by. Know, I, yeah, I fucking know. <laughs> you do what you want. I won't say nothing. I owe you that much. But Salieri? He finds out you're going behind his back to be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don or let it go. 
Just get to daydreaming, you know. Just wake up. We're here. Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. <laughs> I'm good. That's what they're good at. They're good at busting balls. Okay. All right, we'll probably leave it here, right? Search the works, the works quarter. All right, well, this is a good session. Sorry about the landscapers out there. Thank goodness we're actually adjourning now. A good session. This is the third to last mission, right? And then we have the second to last, and then the actual last mission. So three missions left. This is the the, the one right before it. Thanks, guys, for a great stream. Thanks for a supportive stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. The plot's really good. Curious to see how it's going to end. You know, and what actually made Tommy want to get out of the life and be talking to this cop uh, during the course of the game. We don't know yet, but we're getting close to find out. So, I'll be playing this one more time later this week to wrap it up. Um, thanks for a great stream, and I hope you'll tune in then. If not, you know, always on YouTube on DSP Gaming, you can get caught up. All right, thank you guys. Until the conclusion next time.